So this year we are basically introducing uh, gender equality and the prize money for the Ultra Mirage Algerides. Uh, so the prizes that we had last year uh, remain. So the first man will get 3,000 euros, uh, second 1,500, third 500, and it will be matched for uh, the women. So 3,000 euros for the first women, woman, uh, 1,500 for the second, and 500 uh, for the third. Uh, and I'm very pleased to have 30 women uh, participating in the Ultra Mirage for the second edition. Uh, that's significantly, significantly up from uh, six uh, last year. Um, um, I get a lot of questions regarding the security uh, overall, since it is a desert race in the middle of nowhere, uh, in the south of Tunisia. Uh, I really want people to rest assured and, and I'm sure that people who participated in the Ultra Mirage last year would agree with me that the security was outstanding. I personally take security very, very seriously. The local authorities with, with who we are working very, very closely take security uh, extremely uh, closely. Uh, so we work with the uh, National Guards, with the local police, uh, with the army, um, and I'm sure you might not see them uh, while you're running, but uh, I can guarantee you uh, they're going to be there just making sure that everybody is, is safe and we have a, a, a very good event. What's available in the checkpoints? So obviously in the checkpoint you're going to have medical help in case, God forbid, you need any medical help. You're going to have a lot of assistance uh, from uh, you know the team organizers who will give you information throughout the race about what to expect um, you know ahead of the next checkpoint um, and you know information like you know temperature runners uh, you know where you stand in the ranking etc etc uh, but I think in terms of uh, food supply and water supply so there will be plenty of water so please do not worry about uh, water um, you know runners will have um, you know north of 30 liters of water throughout the 100 kilometers so this is uh, way uh, will will cover definitely uh, all your water needs but also when it comes to uh, nutrition uh, we're basically going to have uh, you know locally made bread we will have uh, energy bars we will have local dates uh, and we will have other basic uh, nutrition uh, that uh, will make sure that uh, no one will be hungry during the race Obviously, people will have specific nutrition that they will want to have with them, uh, and that is basically, you know, it's basically their uh, initiative to to take whatever food they feel like um, in their backpack. Obviously, because uh, you're completely independent between checkpoints, um, you cannot have access to to any food or water uh, between checkpoints, and that's one of the key rules uh, of the Ultra Mirage. Um, Okay, so I get a lot of questions regarding the mandatory items. Um, I've run ultras before. I know how it can be very cumbersome to be holding all this extra weight while you're running the distance. Um, rest assured that all the mandatory items are there for your own security. Uh, I don't want to add any item which you will not really use. But these items are there just to make sure that uh, you have a safe race uh, and you can stay safe at all times. There will be six mandatory items. The first one uh, will be uh, the ID. So for the Tunisians, an ID card. For foreigners, uh, you can have your passport. You're going to need a backpack uh, that allows you to carry water. Um, so I'm not really, I don't have any preference in terms of, um, you know, how the backpack looks. But you do need to carry with you, uh, you know, at least one and a half to two liters of water. That is very, very important. You're going to need a lamp or a head torch uh, for those who are lucky enough to run in the evening. I think that's kind of very important. Even those who think that they can finish the race in, day in daylight, I think it's important to have a lamp with you. You're going to need a whistle. A uh, whistle is important in case, God forbid, you get lost. Um, and we've had whistles being lose used last year. So this is a very important item. Any size, it doesn't matter. You're going to need matches. Uh, matches are, for me, mandatory because in the evening, um, you will need it if you need to light a fire or to draw attention, etc. And the last item uh, will be a safety blanket, uh, which 
it's very light it doesn't take much space but i think in if god forbids again uh you're in danger or you need of help i think it comes in uh, very handy 